here at the Hard Rock Cafe a couple of days before the big return to Madison Square Garden. Ireland's John Duddy has been fighting close to the home. A lot of hunky-dory cars. We've been seeing those on TV. But you're still going to have a lot of fans at Madison Square Garden in New York coming out to see you this Saturday, the 23rd of February. I would certainly hope so. You know, uh, when I left, I had a lot of fans, and I think with, uh, with what I achieved back home in Ireland, I'm going to be walking on the arena with even more fans, you know. So uh, I'm looking forward to the experience of fighting in the, the greatest arena in the world again and uh, hopefully putting on another good performance to give the people and the fans here another taste of John Dory and what's, uh, and what, you know, what's to come in the future. Now what do you know about your opponent for this fight? He's fought in Canada. A lot, of not, a lot is not known about him. Have you watched tape of this guy? I've seen a few of his fights. You know, he's very aggressive. He's like a Jake Lamotta type fighter. He comes forward, he likes throwing big right hands, you know, and, and uh, he can take a good punch. Like So uh, I think it's going to be an exciting fight. Uh, my last few fights in New York, a lot of my opponents were weary of me and moving back. So it was, it was always up to me to make the fight, where as I think this guy is going to, it's going to be an explosion, you know, and hopefully very exciting for the fans. How has it been working with Don Turner the last couple of fights? The last one against Eastman is a veteran, a former world title challenger. Was A lot of people consider that a step up. Do you feel you've advanced a lot under Don Turner? I think I've advanced a little bit anyway. You know, how much remains to be seen. Like, uh, all I know is that every time I step into the ring, I'm getting closer to fighting for world title. And uh, with Don, I've been added, uh, no, added. Like, I think it's uh, uh, mentally for me, I, I think I've come on leaps and bounds about myself. And uh, the training has been fantastic. And I'm just looking forward to everything that I'm learning from him. Yeah, we know you never look past any fighter, but you're obviously aware there's a ton of talk about you possibly fighting Kelly Pavlik in June. Can you comment on that? Do you think you'd be ready for a fight? Pavlik, the undisputed champion, undefeated fighter at middleweight? I don't know. There was talk last year about Jermaine Taylor as well, so no, no, it's changed to Pavlik. Like, as far as I'm concerned, as long as I concentrate in my career, that's what I can control. I'm going to be associated with a title fight against somebody. So uh, to be honest with you, I'm just looking forward to 23rd. Do you look forward to fighting for a title within the next year if, the, if it's not Pavlik? Of course, of course, a title, that's what, that's what I'm a boxer for. I want to be the world's best, and to be the world's best, you have to fight them. But at the moment, like, the only thing I can control is who I'm fighting on the 23rd of February, and that's all I care about. What do you think you have to work on after the, the fight, one of the recent televised fights with the Italian fighter, Don went on TV, I guess you saw the tape of that where you said you had to work on transitions. Do you think you're working on those better and improving on those in the last couple of years? I think I have. Hopefully I have. But everybody's going to see it on Saturday. All right. Anything else you want to say? Because a lot of people, you have a huge fan base. The, the fights that were over in, in Europe got... Tremendous uh, electric atmosphere for people that didn't see him. They are they have been repeating them in the U.S. on MSG cable, and you get that a lot when you've been fighting over here. So it, sh it should be an interesting night. Anything particularly you want to make a statement on this card? Because it's I don't think HBO is going to televise it, but it's on the undercard for the Klitschko Ibrahimov. Uh, I just hope they get a good victory and give my fans and all every taste of uh, what I've been bringing to the ring this last few years, and hopefully uh, they'll have a great night. Great. Any predictions you want to make? Factory. It's all in one that matters. Good luck. John, hey, welcome back. How's it feel to be back at the garden? Great, so it is. No. Another dream come true.